For quite some time, I have been thinking about writing a book on the year 1984 as it unfolded in India from the perspective of a 23-year-old journalist, namely me. Since I'm at various stages of three books right now, I have instead decided to weave this as a full chapter in my memoir titled A Tangential Life, likely to be published in late 2025. I have called the chapter My 1984. I've added my because A, there is already a global masterpiece called 1984 by the great George Orwell, and B, it personalizes this particular account. The following teaser from an AI-generated podcast is based entirely on my specific writing. The man and woman podcasters are entirely AI-generated. Everything else is drawn from my factual reporting. This year marks the 40th anniversary of that profoundly violent and deadly year in India, and MCR will carry a special sometime in December. All right, everyone get ready, because today we're diving deep into 1984 India. Oh, wow. Not just the year itself, but through the eyes of a journalist who lived through it all. Hmm. Bhopal, Indira Gandhi's assassination, all of it. I see. But what makes this deep dive so interesting is looking back at his reflections years later. Yeah. We'll be going through excerpts from his reflections, a mix of his personal stories, and some really insightful social and political commentary. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. And, you know, this journalist doesn't hold back. Right. His opening line is, 1984 was probably the bloodiest time in independent India's history until then. Wow. Talk about a strong opening. Yeah, he's not exaggerating either. Yeah. You had Operation Blue Star, the military operation in the Golden Temple. Right, a site sacred to Sikhs. Then Indira Gandhi's assassination at the hands of her Sikh bodyguards. And then the anti-Sikh riots that followed. Right, as if the nation wasn't already overwhelmed, then Bhopal happened. All within months of each other. It's crazy how much happened in such a short time. It really is, and this journalist was right in the thick of it. Yeah. Especially with the Bhopal gas disaster. He was a young reporter then, focused on the corporate angle. Imagine being a young reporter thrown into that chaos. 